we for nothing and your kits for free. <laughs> Look at all this. This is my new display cabinet. See, it's fully lit. Yes, it's already something else. Apologies to Dire Straits at the beginning there. But, but in my defence, I was nearly abducted by aliens this morning. Yes, I know, it's hard to believe. I'll, it's on Facebook if you want to see it. Yeah, enough of that another time. Thank goodness Bass the Cat saved me. Yes, otherwise there would have been anal probing. Uh, now, look, the reason for this silly song is um, hobby for nothing and your kits for free. Now I've gotten on this absolutely a brilliant idea to make my hobby incredibly affordable. And it's don't pay for your kits. <laughs> Let me tell you how I did it. <laughs> well actually, it all started with this little louche here, right? Okay, now this little guy wasn't in this box. No, I procured this box later on. What happened was a friend of mine, uh, Chris, he, uh, he knew I was after Lucia. He said, oh, I've got this one lying around in a bag here. There's no instructions and there's just bits and pieces floating around. Do you want it? And I took it off him for only a few shekels, you know? Nothing compared to what the price of the kit is. Anyhow, I looked online, found the instructions, checked through the sprues, everything was there. Even found a guy who was building another one and he gave me the box. So in the end, I ended up with the box and the kit and the instructions that I downloaded and I even bought some tracks for it still well under the price of the actual kit. So I thought, this uh, picking up kits that other people don't want because I think they've got things missing, it might have merit. But the idea was just gestating. And then I was down there at the Riverside Scale Modelers Club and Charlie, lovely old Charlie there, he's been here for bloody years, he's a fixture in the place. And he's a lovely guy though, I really got a lot of time with Charlie. Anyway, he comes out and says, hey, I've got this. It's all loose in the box. I don't know. There's no instructions. I don't know what it bloody is. I think half the parts are missing and some idiot's trying to glue a few together. Do you want it? And of course, Harry said, yes. <laughs> so I picked this up, right? And um, as he said, no instructions. A couple of parts had sort of been glued and didn't look like it had done a very good job. And bits were just loose and missing and, you know, well, appeared to be missing. So again, I got on that old interweb. <laughs> And I found this fuzzy sprue map, right, which gave me a vague idea. And I went through, found all the parts and went, ah, oh, bingo bongo, just about everything's here. There was only a couple of cogs and a broken off handrail. So I then did this. Now here's the kit that um, Charlie gave me. And these were the parts, and in fact I've even assembled a few here, but it was just a schmozzle. And there were all these little brass bits of the engine, no way to figure out how to put them together. But I managed to do it, I figured it all out, and there she is. So uh, one part's missing, a little handrail here, I used a paper clip. Um, so then I got my Steinle res out, I started painting all the parts a nice black, and um, then she's uh, masking up, and I'm going to use the Steinle res again to paint all those wagon wheels. Because that's the colour scheme that I eventually uh, researched. And that's how she turned out. Oh, I'm just so proud of that. So what do you think of that? That's where I'm up to with it. I've got to do a little bit of weathering and a bit of dry brushing today and someone suggested I put some pin lines on it, you know, like they used to do. So I'm going to do a few of those tricks. Now, would you be interested in seeing that in a video? It's not tanks and planes and everything. In fact, it's not a subject I would have ever have picked. But there it came out of the blue, a free kit, and I've had an absolute ball with it, all right? Well, the fun didn't stop there. Now, just yeah, message me if you want me to do a video on the building of that. And I will. I'll show you a whole lot more of what's going on. And I'll um, videotape the, uh, the final construction now. There's more. So that's one kit for a few shekels, which I managed to find all the bits for. Another kit for free that I built something very unusual. And then, um, oh, my mate Chris was at the... Um, model club up here on the Sunshine Coast. There's, there's lots of model clubs at the moment. I'm a bit of a model club slut right now, going around everywhere. Anyhow, um, uh, Chris was there and he's showing a few kits here for sale and everything. I said, oh gee, I've, I've always wanted a mess of Schmidt, you know. <laughs> and um, he said, oh Harry, look, I need help with my lighting because I'm having trouble lighting my models and doing what you do. Because have you seen my lighting videos? Go back and watch my lighting videos. Peace, peace. Couple of lights, you know, a bit of bloody dunny paper, and bingo bongo, you two can shoot your models just like the best of them. At least for boob tube or, you know, for, for fast book or whatever it's called. Yeah, I digress. So Chris said, look mate, you help me out with my lighting, you can have that mess off Smith. <laughs> Another free model, and it's a beauty. It's, it's, it's Edward, right? It's a weekend edition, um, but it is an absolute rip snort, and it's 132nd scale, I think. 
So that's a big one. So the the um, the Daimler, that was 124. These are all big kits. Nobody wants big kits. Great, I'll take them. Send me your bloody big kits, I'll build them. <laughs> all right, so I got that one for free. All right, but it doesn't end there, no. Then I'm down seeing my mate Bernard because I'd gone down to Brizzy to visit some friends and, and have a curry with me, uh, with my friend Sunda. Sunda's sort of like an old girlfriend of mine. Went down to see Sunda and we're having a curry and we watched a movie. Went and saw Jungle Book. Now that's bloody good. That's, tell you what, it's not for kids. Gee, it's good. It's well done. I mean, I'm into animation and everything. That's what I used to do. I used to do a lot of animation back in my days in television. You know, that's the sort of thing I did. And um, this stuff, oh, it leaves me for dead. I mean, it's amazing what they can do now. But anyhow, that's a great movie. Go and see Jungle Book. It's not just for your kids. You don't have to drag them along. Just drag anybody along. And don't get scared by the big snake. I did. If you've followed my exploits lately, you know about the big snakes in my life. Anyhow, enough of that. So... Seen Sunda, had a curry, watched a big snake on the bloody big screen, and then I dropped in to see Bernard. You know, Bernard's a good mate of mine, he's always helping me out. And chat, 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 and he says, do you want a kit? I think there's some parts missing. Notice the theme coming here. I think there's some parts missing, but it's, you know, it's no instructions or something. Or, um, and there you go. So, actually there were instructions, but they're pretty old and they're pretty bloody horrible. So, I picked up this one, another 130 second scale, Hairy plane, right? And this is a beauty. The bloody wings fold up on this and everything. Um, you know, and not just glue them into place. They can click down and they can click up. It's got all kinds of things going on. I went through it all and there were only three parts missing. Uh, basically, I can fabricate two of them. They're um, pretty easy. These are parts missing. All right? And I can fabricate one of those landing struts. That's not really hard. Um, a wheel I can get to go on the back there and then just it is a little little sort of um, flappy thing to hold the, the back wheel in. Well, I can do that. A wheel I can get off one of my mates. I might even have a spare one in the stash. And there's a hinge. That's probably the hardest thing, but it's going to be hidden. And oh, I reckon if I took my time, I could probably prefabricate that one. So, bingo bongo, Harry Houdini strikes lucky again. I tell you, I fall on my ass and I come up smelling like roses. <laughs> So that's sort of where we're at, okay? Oh, there's one more thing. If I'm not busy enough with all these free kits, which are, I'll tell you what, they are keeping me busy. Make, make a big pile here. <clears throat> Roy the Rivet. Gah, Roy. Mate, I, I don't think I say hello enough. But Roy the Rivet down there and fine modelling. Um, he's a great Facebook player. He's a lovely guy, right? And um, I started them all off because I had this and got them all interested, and then I sort of didn't get around to building it. Now they've got a bloody buddy build happening, and I'm going to have to pull the sucker out of the box and build it. And I've got, you know, kitten grabs and kettle and craps or whatever they are, you know. Did you see that last time? That was a little, um, that motorcycle with, with tracks on. That's mighty. I'm going to finish that, and I've got to finish the bends, and I've got a panther there. Oh, and the, um, the arrow, Sanny. Just wait there a sec. Look. Have you been following the adventures of the arrow, Sanny? Right. Um, I've got a lick of paint on this. I don't know how what's going to show up, but I've got a whole lot of weathering happening on that. I'm really pleased what's, with what's going on. And Boris and Carl off in there, if you remember them, they've got a lick of paint. That's coming along. I've got to do an update video on that and show you everything that I've done because it's got chipping, it's got weathering, it's got all kinds of stuff. And Boris and Carl are finally uh, no longer uh, got um, stakes up their bums, you know. They're no longer impaled by uh, Vlad the Impaler. <laughs> so there's a lot happening there, and I'm going to leave the top of it and show the motor. Oh, look, I have got so much to, to tell you and show you, it's going to take a whole year just to get through what's on my bench. But that's okay. That's all right. That's what modelling's all about. So anyhow, there you go. I better put this down before I break the bloody thing, knowing me, fumble fingers that I am. All right, so money for nothing? No. Um, hobby for nothing and your kits for free. It can be done. I wonder how much longer I can go without actually having to spend any money and keep filling my stash. Who knows? Have you got a kit with a few parts missing and you think, oh bugger, I don't want to build this. Send it to Harry Houdini. I'll build the sucker. I don't care what it is. Well, within reason. <laughs> as long as it's not a hella kit or a, yeah, or um, oh, there's a few other of those dreadful kits out there. You know, people go, oh no, not that one. I'll probably still have a go, you know. I'll still have a go. All right, um, lots more to show you, but I'll do that another time. This has rattled on for long enough. Um, hope you enjoyed the little bit of banjo fumbling at the beginning. I think I got most of the notes. Maybe not in the right order, but you know. <laughs> All right, well, it's goodbye from Australia, and it's Huru from Harry Houdini. Mm -hmm.